how to use seek.com to just like the name says seek some employments or jobs uh, and you know just find employers to uh, work with and find jobs easily using seek.com so let's uh, let's just go through every single step of the process from signing up to what you need to do or what you will need to be looking for and let's jump into it so seek.com is basically a website based on australia and it is going to be helping you find jobs uh, online basically uh, now the jobs can be work from home jobs or they can actually be uh, actually be physical jobs uh, now you need to understand first that it is uh, not for every single country it's mainly for australia new zealand hong kong southeast asia brazil and mexico uh, and has some uh, investments in china south korea and uh, some other countries but it's mainly based on australia uh, and new zealand and some other uh, countries as well so just before we get started with it just check if seek.com actually works uh, for your country first before we even get started um, and then next we just go ahead and type in seek.com in our browser so we would just go to seek.com and then we will find ourselves in this same page right here so in here we will need to first sign up so we can just go ahead and click on register uh, now you will need to fill in your information as closely as possible or as accurately as possible because this is after all is going to be an employment website you will be um, having interviews uh, and a lot of stuff so make sure that you are truthful uh, and you put what you actually can do so don't really lie about things so we can just go ahead and continue with google if you want to just use email it's up to you i'll just continue with google use this one uh and let's just fill in our information so in here we can just click on continue this is the uh part of the sign in up process from seek to uh google and we can just click on register new account now it shouldn't take too long and it's going to ask us more about ourselves uh and here is going to be the part where we will need to take the time to uh fill out every single thing now here is going to be the basics so first name we can just go ahead and type in tutorial uh here we can just do explains for example uh if you have recent work experience you can just check this and you can give it a job title company name and uh the starting uh point or uh and i mean the ending point if you have it if not you can just click on this uh, if you don't have any, you can just go ahead and check this off. Or if you want to fill it later, you can also check this off and you can do it again later on. So I'll just be doing that right now. And then home location, you can just go ahead and enter uh, a town or a city. We can just go ahead and let's see if I can just enter the city. Uh, let's just do anything from here because, you know, it's Australia based. So it's not going to work where I'm from. Uh, but then we can just go ahead and add preferred classification. We can just go ahead and do mm, uh, education. If that's, yeah, there you go. Education and training. Sub classification, if you have any, we can just do tut tutoring if that's a thing. And then we can uh, set this for us. Now there's going to be three options or visibility levels. Uh, you've got the standard, which is going to be basically you're going to be visible to all employers, uh, which is basically what I recommend. Uh, you've got the limited, where it's going to show your profile, but not your resume. And uh, they can only contact you via Seek. So it's not going to be direct uh, contact. And then hidden, if you want to just, you know, apply to stuff without people actually finding your profile. Uh, that could be if you are uh, like specifically or already working for a job and you don't want to have a lot on your plate you can just use this but i recommend that you keep it to standard at first uh, and then you can obviously change it later on from the settings if that's what you want so we can just go ahead click on standard and click on save and continue now in here we are going to basically go ahead and click on complete your profile because let's be honest without completing your profile no one is going to hire you you'll need uh, to 
talk more about yourself, your employment history, um, uh, resume, that kind of stuff. And you can create one from Seek, which is um, very, very nice. So here is going to be the things that we will need to add. A personal summary, you will just need to go ahead and talk about yourself, introduce who you are, like uh, it says here, and talk about uh, how passionate you are to be working with others. Here, you'll need to go ahead, um, the profile visibility, we already did that, uh, verified identity, you will need to uh, verify your identity with passport or ID. Uh, and here again, we go personal summary, you just click on add and you can just type in uh, a summary about yourself and your job history and that kind of stuff and ambitions and strengths. And then we've got the career history, which you can add now or you can add later. So, uh, you can do that for all of them here. You can add them later if you want to. So it's fine. And then we can go to education here. Uh, and you can talk about the highest level of education you have uh, done and finished and talk about the things that you have studied, basically. If you have any certifications or licenses, you can add them here. And you can obviously go ahead and add all the skills that you can name uh, that are going to be valuable um, for uh, your employers to see, basically. And if you have multiple languages, that would be great. It's always nice to have multiple languages. You can add them here. And you can also add, or you would need to add your resume here because it's pretty much the most important part here. If you don't have uh, a resume, you can actually create one using your Seek um, profile. You can just click on create resume and it's going to actually ask you about uh, personal details, career history, education and stuff. And it's actually going to create it for you, which is very nice. So let me just go back. If I can there you go complete profile what's next i think that's it yeah the rest here is going to be uh more details about the work uh that you want to uh like be applying to so availability you can just add that here prefer preferred work types you can add it here full-time part-time contract or casual if it's a full-time job that you're looking to uh, or looking for you can just click on this uh, and you can just click on save and you can uh, choose multiple if you want, by the way. Uh, here, locations, uh, you can add more, I believe. So if you want to add another location, you can also add it from here. Uh, right to work, you can just uh, add uh, these if you have any. And then we can do salary expectation, a classification of interest and approachability. Now you will need to again, take the time to set up every single thing here because the employers that are going to be looking at your profile uh, and you know contacting you, they will see all of this and you are going to be seeking a specific kind of job. So it's better to uh, add as many or as much information as you can. Uh, and that's pretty much it. We can just go back to job search now. So after all of that is done and you verify your account and your identity, uh, fill out your resume and all of those things. So your profile is very much ready to go. Here you can do a few things. You can just wait for employers to actually see, a, like contact you, uh, which is fine. But what I recommend for you to do is actually go ahead and enter keywords here. Uh, and you can add any uh, classifications of what kind of jobs you want to work for, and you can actually search for them. Uh, so again, if we just go ahead and find a da -da -da education and training, uh, we can just keep this empty and where, let me just, let me just do work from home and we can just click on seek. And it's going to give us a few jobs here that we, we can, you know, click on, see the descriptions of and uh, let's say for example this one seems nice we can just click on it uh, see everything about it read more about the description and stuff and if we truly like it and think it's going to fit our needs we can just go ahead and click on apply where we'll be asked to enter our email address and then uh, add uh, a letter and all of those things uh, which is obvious you will need to take the time to actually set all of this up and we can just go ahead and click on apply now after we are done. 
you know, some are going to ask you for CV and more stuff than others. Some are just going to ask you for an email and then they are going to contact you directly. Some are going to, so it's going to be different for each job. It's not always going to be the same, but it's going to be pretty much like self-explanatory. You, you fill out your information, you fill out your uh, details, uh, you attach your resume, CV, that kind of stuff. And they're going to view your profile and based off of that, they can either employ you or not so it's very simple and easy and uh it's just going to give you a lot of space of you know searching for jobs more easily and actually being out there and visible for employers so if someone actually likes your resume they can you know contact you you can get jobs uh as long as your profile is visible obviously like we said it to be and you can see uh, other things here, like um, popular ones that you can just apply to here as well, like 30 jobs for Nestle. And, you know, you can just go ahead and keep searching for jobs, applying to jobs, and hopefully you'll be getting a job using Seek within no time. So this is basically an introduction to Seek.com. It's very simple and easy to use. Just before all of this, like I said earlier, you just need to make sure that your country is um, like supported with seek.com before we get or before you get started and dive deep into it and then later realize that it's not uh, working for your country. So with that being said, I hope you uh, benefited from this video and thanks for watching.